Good morning <laughs> and welcome to Business English Paris. Uh, today I'd like to talk with you about the subject of uh, business attire because I covered that word, I want to say, three weeks ago. Oh, certainly when I first started the blog, I, it was one of the first terms that I covered on, on, on Business English Paris. And I, I, I thought it was interesting because I frankly don't know what appropriate business attire is anymore. I feel as though we've come a long way from the 1990s, for example, when I first, two seconds, <laughs> when I first visited Paris to visit my aunt who lived here at the time. And she's a woman who has very, very strong opinions about everything. And I remember that she was very confused by the fact that American women at the time were wearing sneakers with their business suits to work. And it was not very French, French girl. It was not, it was not very chic, according to how I guess she defined chic, and I guess maybe the average French woman at the time, how they define chic. I think today, what I'm noticing is, well, I don't see a lot of women in, in Paris wearing suits to work anyway, so I think that perhaps suits have sort of become not so fashionable to begin with. And I'm, I'm not sure if the same is true in New York. It very well might be, I don't know. But Certainly, wearing sneakers to work, I don't think is as outrageous an idea today for the average French woman as it was back in the 1990s. I would imagine, however, that even in New York, you know, it depends on the industry, it depends on the company itself, you know, the, the business attire, proper business attire, what is considered to be proper business attire which is the word, the words for today, business attire. Uh, I'm not sure what the situation would be in New York, whether everybody has become more business casual or, or whether it sort of depends on the, um, the industry or the company for whom or for which you work. And I don't know whether it's country specific also. I mean, whether... There are differences in business attire and what's considered to be appropriate depending on if you live in Sydney or if you live in Lagos or if you live in Brussels or if you live in London or if you live in Paris or um, Moscow or, or wherever, Beijing. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it's possible that depending on the country, depending on the city, depending on the company within all of those different variables, that the definition of appropriate business attire would necessarily change. However, it's my question for you. I mean, you know, we are having a business English discussion, right? And I always try to imagine um, actually talking with you, you actually being one of my students in quotes you know how i don't like to use that word because i think you're a professional person and um i'm a professional woman sometimes <laughs> and uh, we're just talking but what do you what do you consider to be appropriate business attire okay is it ever appropriate to wear sneakers to the office to to the court to i don't know to meet with clients um, is it appropriate to wear jeans? Is it appropriate to wear like a little cut-off midriff-bearing outfit? Uh, is it appropriate to wear your, your gym clothes, you know, to the office? I remember back in about eight years ago, ten years ago when I was in New York, people were starting to wear just, you know, biker, biker jackets into the court. The lawyers, okay, before the judge. It was crazy. And I remember this older lawyer 
where it was he was absolutely scandalized by this. He couldn't understand how somebody could come into the judge's chambers in in, in a motorcycle jacket and uh, with jeans. You know, so even ten years ago, I st- I saw that a shift was occurring in terms of what was considered appropriate. I mean, at that time in New York, I remember the the Friday Fridays were considered biz- business casual days. Is that still the case, or is every day now a business casual day? I mean, and what is considered appropriate business attire on? business casual days I mean that's really my question what in your opinion wherever you live you know um, <laughs> so that's it for today um, I'm very thirsty <laughs> I don't know I was just like parched uh, so yes it's been my pleasure to speak with you today on this topic and it would be my pleasure to speak with you on many other topics pertaining to business and work and you know how to reach me uh, business English Paris E L G at gmail.com at business English Paris for Instagram business English Paris dot blogspot dot com for the blog and finally subscribe please to my YouTube channel I think that the button is somewhere down there so it would be, I would be so happy if you subscribed. I mean, it just would make my whole life <laughs> if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. So please make me happy and just, it says, I love you, Marion. Just comes out. Okay. So see you in the next one. Have a great day. I love you. I love doing these videos for you. I love talking to you. And I hope you like listening to me. <laughs> you know, I hope you love it. Okay, bye. See you soon.